नमस्ते वेलकम टू टूडेज हट योगा सेशन यू मे नॉट बी एबल टू कंट्रोल द होल वर्ल्ड बट यू मे लर्न टू कंट्रोल योर इनर वर्ल्ड थ्रू योगा कीपिंग दिस इन आवर माइंड लेट्स बिगिन विद सेंटरिंग be seated in sukhasana roll the shoulders back rest your palms on your thighs eyes closed take few seconds to let go of all the distractions and to center yourself on the mat become aware of your breath feel the flow of your breath in and out of your nostrils as you feel your breath Take three deep breaths. End of three. Join your palms at your heart center. Let us chant Om for three times. Inhale. Breathe in. bring your chin to your chest open your palms blink open your eyes release your palms let's begin with warm up come on all fours we do cat and cow breathing but today we'll do it on our forearms keep your elbows in line with the shoulders palms pressed into the mat knee and hip in one line keep your knees and your feet hip width apart inhale arch the spine look forward exhale press the forearms around the spine inhale arch the spine exhale round the spine three more rounds breathe in arch the spine breathe out chin to the chest inhale move with the breath exhale one last round inhale exhale come back to neutral spine come on your palms watch the next movement bring your knees slightly closer have a look and then we'll do together inhale you will lift the right knee up in line with the hip exhale you'll place it down and then walk your palms forward you'll do upward facing dog with knees and thighs off the mat again you come back on all fours walk your palms back so we combine two movements hip openers and urdhva mukha shvanasana follow the instructions and do it along with me on the right inhale lift the right knee in line with the hip exhale down walk the palms forward inhale sink the hips lift the knees and thighs off lift the chin up exhale come back on all fours walk the palms back on the left inhale lift the left knee in line with the hip exhale down palms forward sink the hips inhale upward facing dog exhale all fours 
two more rounds. Inhale, lift the right knee up. Exhale, down. Palms forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Sink the hips, lift the chin up. Exhale, all fours. Inhale, lift the left knee in line with the hip. Exhale, down. Palms forward. Inhale, upward facing dog. Legs are straight. Exhale, all fours. One last round. Breathe in. Lift the right knee up. Hold it here for three, two, one. Exhale, down. Palms forward. Sink the hips. Lift the chest. Look up for three, two, one. Come back on all fours. Inhale, lift the left knee in line with the hip. Keep your arms straight. Look forward or down for three, two, one. Exhale, down. Palms forward. Inhale, sink the hips. Lift the chin up for three, two, one. Place the knees down. Sit back in Vajrasana. I'll show a quick demo of what the next warm-up looks like. You will come to downward facing dog. You will lift the right leg up. From here, you will bring your right knee in between your palms for pigeon. But you will keep your left toes tucked in. Inhale, you will lift the chest, bend back. Exhale, see what I am doing? I will slide the right leg all the way back, fold forward. Again, bring the knee in between the palms, arch the spine. So it is just the right leg which is coming forward and backward. Let's do this from Vajrasana. Lift your hips up to downward facing dog. Inhale, stretch the right leg up. Exhale, right knee in between your palms. Stretch the left leg, keep the left toes tucked in. Come on your fingertips. Inhale, arch the spine, look up. Exhale, slide the right leg back fold forward so your right leg is straight again inhale coming to pigeon lift the chest up exhale slide the leg forward fold three more rounds breathe in pigeon come on your fingertips it gives you more space breathe out on your palms straighten the right leg inhale arch the spine it's just a warm-up. Go easy. Exhale. Forward fold. One more round. Inhale. Lift the chest and chin up. Exhale. Fold forward. Now, come on all fours. Lift the knees. Downward facing dog. Repeating this on the left side. Breathe in. Lift the left leg up. Breathe out, left knee in between your palms. Stretch the right leg, stay on your right toes. Inhale, arch the spine, look up. Exhale, slide the left leg back, forward fold. Breathe in, arch the spine. Breathe out, fold forward. Keep the left knee off the mat. Inhale, flow with the breath. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, lift the chest up. Exhale, stretch the arms. Last round. Inhale, exhale. Come back on all fours. Lift the knees off, downward facing dog. Stretch the spine in down dog. Stretch the sides of your body. Lift the sit bones up. For three, two, one. Step your right foot forward. Left foot forward. Palms on your waist come all the way up. We have one more warm up. Keep your feet hip width apart. Interlock your fingers behind the head. Let the elbows point to the sides. Parshvathadasana. Breathe in. 
breathe out bend to the right inhale center exhale left four more rounds inhale exhale right inhale exhale left every round stretch a bit more inhale exhale right inhale exhale left inhale exhale right inhale exhale left last round inhale exhale right inhale exhale left come back to center release your arms we do six rounds of surya namaskar where we will do a variation in ashtanga namaskar will do it along with me and when i show the variation just follow me come to the front edge of your mat feet together pull the knee caps up roll the shoulders back chest lifted palms at your heart center inhale stretch the arms from the front push the hips forward bend back palms facing each other exhale bending from your hips keep your knees soft fold forward inhale take a wide step back right leg back knee off the mat left knee and ankle in one line lift the chin look up hold your breath left leg back to plank now we add the variation exhale knees down lean forward elbows going back chest half way like a push up inhale slide forward bhujang asana elbows close to your ribs exhale lift your hips up parvat asana inhale step the right foot forward right knee and ankle in one line left knee off the mat exhale left foot forward inhale stretch the arms bend back asta uttanasana exhale fold forward pada hastasana inhale left leg back ashwa sanchalan asana hold your breath plank dandasana exhale knees down elbows back like a half push up inhale slide forward bhujang asana shoulders away from your ears exhale parvatasana inhale left foot forward exhale right round 2 inhale stretch the hips bend back exhale fold forward inhale right leg back hold your breath plank exhale knee down chest half way chin away from the chest inhale bhujanga exhale parvata inhale right exhale left inhale arms active bend back exhale fold forward inhale step the left leg back hold your breath plank exhale knees down elbows going back slide forward bhujanga exhale parvata inhale left exhale right round 3 inhale lift the chest bend back exhale abdomen to your thigh inhale right leg back move with the breath hold your breath plank exhale knees down chest half way inhale bhujanga exhale parvata inhale right exhale left breathe in bend back breathe out fold forward breathe in left leg back hold your breath exhale knees going back inhale bhujanga exhale parvata inhale left 
exhale right round four inhale exhale inhale right hold your breath exhale halfway inhale exhale inhale right exhale inhale bend back exhale inhale left hold your breath exhale halfway inhale exhale inhale left exhale round five inhale two more rounds exhale inhale right hold your breath exhale halfway inhale exhale inhale right exhale inhale flow with the breath exhale inhale left hold your breath exhale halfway inhale exhale inhale left exhale round six last round inhale exhale inhale right hold your breath exhale and we hold lean forward elbows going back look forward five four don't arch the spine three hold on two one inhale exhale inhale right exhale last half breathe in breathe out inhale left hold your breath exhale lean forward elbows to your body hold five shoulders relaxed four three two one inhale exhale inhale left exhale inhale exhale arms beside the body samastiti separate your feet and your arms close your eyes stay still feel the sensations you experience in the stillness of the body take a deep breath in exhale blink open your eyes now we begin with the asana practice most of the asanas will hold anywhere between 8 to 10 breaths you will be doing it along with me if it requires a demo we'll take a break and then you can watch me the first one we do two asanas trikon asana and a variation in virabhadrasana two place your palms on your waist separate your feet slightly wider than the shoulders turn the right toes to the right keep the right knee a micro bend stretch the arms in line with the shoulders breathe in move the spine to the right breathe out turn the palm place the palm in front of the leg and left arm up to the ceiling keep both your arms straight keep stretching the right fingertips towards the floor but don't reach now from here take the chest back and your hip forward breathe for 8 seven keep your arms active six press all the ten toes five shoulders in one line four three two one inhale arms in line with the shoulders now bend the right knee 
increase the stance place the left palm on your waist turn the right arm to face up right knee and ankle in one line inhale like you're reaching out to something lean towards the right side rest the right ear on the right arm don't crunch the shoulders keep the shoulders away sink the hips keep stretching the right arm hold 8 Seven, thigh parallel to the floor. Six, left shoulder back. Five, four. Keep your right arm active. Three, two, one. Inhale, center. Exhale, release. Shorten the stance now. We take a break once we complete on the left. Medium stance. turn the left toes to the left now don't turn the hip to the side your hip is still facing forward arms in line with the shoulder breathe in lean towards the left turn the palm place the palm in front of the leg right arm up push the hips forward chest and head back extend the arms in the opposite direction 8 7 keep a micro bend in your left knee 5 4 3 2 inhale arms in line with the shoulder bend the left knee take the right leg to the right place the right palm on the waist sink the hip turn the left palm to face up like you're reaching out to something breathe in extend the body to the left rest the left side of the ear on the arm take the right shoulder back 8 left knee and ankle in one line 6 left arm active 5 don't bend at the elbows 4 3 2 1 inhale center exhale release heel toe your feet closer separate your arms and your legs stay still gently blink open your eyes come to the front edge of your mat place your palms on your waist your right foot remains in the front take the left leg back it's a wider stance virabhadrasana 1 left foot is at an angle bend the right knee right knee ankle in one line right thigh parallel your hip is facing forward inhale stretch the arms up roll the shoulders back interlock your fingers don't bend back but just take the arms back bring the shoulder blades closer keep looking forward eight work on stretching the arms away from you seven go low six retract the shoulder blades five collar bones are wide four Three, two. Keep the arms as it is. One. Bring the left foot forward and lift the left foot off. Left knee in line with the hip. Point the left toes down. Now take the arms away from your body. Look at a point ahead. Balance. Don't lift the knee too high. Let it be in line with the hip. Five, four. You lose balance. Come back. Three, two, one. Place the foot down. Release the arms. Move your legs. Change sides. Palms on your waist. Step the right leg back. Wide stance. Right foot at an angle. Bend the left knee. hip to face forward stretch the arms up 
roll the shoulders back interlock your fingers sink the hips inhale lift the arms away from your body eight expand the chest muscles seven keep the right leg straight five see if you can go a bit lower four three two one let the arms remain as it is bring the right foot forward lift the right knee up in line with the hip toes pointing down stretch the arms away from your body press the fist into each other for 5 4 3 2 1 exhale release release your arms sit towards the back of the mat in shashank asana knees together toes pointing back hips on your heels forehead on the mat keep your arms active here elbows off the mat stay here for a few breaths walk your palms back lift the chest I'll show you the next variation we do a twisted lizard pose and a variation in warrior 2 twisted lizard you can do it along with me after that your right foot will be outside the right palm for lizard you will bring the right foot in between your palms left heel grounded have a look your left palm will remain as it is you'll take the right arm from out and hold on to the left thigh you will look under the left armpit sink the hips and stretch the left arm forward okay so we do a twist so you your right arm from out you will take it in let's begin lift your knees up downward facing dog inhale stretch the right leg up exhale right foot outside the right palm take the left leg back look at your left toes is your toes and heel in one line you can either stay with the left palm on the mat or you bring the left forearm down inhale lift the right arm up if it's too challenging place the left knee down look up don't allow the right knee to fall in or out right knee and ankle in one line eight seven press the forearm six five chest away from the mat four keep lifting the left side of the rib cage up three two one place your palms down now bring the right foot in between your palms left heel grounded let the left arm remain as it is take the right arm in between hold on to the left thigh from there look under the left armpit stretch the left arm further stay here right knee is still bent eight seven open the chest five four see if you can reach towards the left knee two one palms down step back downward facing dog pedal your feet up and down in down dog change sides inhale lift the left leg up exhale left foot outside the left palm before you twist look at your right toes stretch the right leg back toes and heel in one line hips down stay on your palm or bring your right forearm down inhale lift the left arm up twist keep your left knee and ankle in one line eight 
seven, take the left shoulder back, bringing the shoulders in the same line. Five, four, three, two, one. Come on your palms. Bring the left foot in between your palms. Right heel grounded. Your right palm remains as it is. Take the left arm from in. Hold on to the outer thigh of your right foot. Look under the right armpit. Stretch the right arm further. Your left knee is still bent. Eight. Twist. Seven. Six. Keep breathing. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Release. Step back. Downward facing dog. Place your knees down. This time keep your knees as wide as the mat. Toes pointing back. Shashank Asana. Keep your arms relaxed. Lift the chest up. The next one we do is a variation in Malasana, which is called as the dancer's squat. You will come on your feet. From here, bring the feet closer. Your toes are pointing to the side. Lift the heels up. Bring the heels closer. Your knees to the side. So it's like a dancer's squat. And make sure your hip is resting on your heel. Look at a point, join your palms at your heart center. Now don't bring the palms to your chest, keep it slightly away. Elbows pointing to the side. You want to challenge yourself? Do it with closed eyes. I'm not closing my eyes because I continue talking, but I want you all to try with closed eyes. Eight, seven, Six, five, knees going to the side, four, chest is lifted, three, two and one. That's it. Release. Sit back in Vajrasana. Have a look at what we are doing next. We will work on the core. In Vashishtasana, which is the side plank, we do some crunches and then a variation. From downward facing dog, you will lean forward to plank. You will come to right hand side plank. If you have shoulder or wrist pain, you can always place your forearms down. You will keep your right knee slightly bent. Left palm behind the head. Inhale. Exhale, knee to elbow. Inhale, exhale. We do this for five times. Fifth time we hold. After that, you will place your feet either on top or in front. In front gives you a better balance. Inhale, you will open the chest. Take the arms back. So your chest and your face will face up the ceiling. So this is just like Chamatkar Asana, the wild thing pose. So I want you to turn the chest and the head to face the ceiling. Let's do it together. Come to downward facing dog. Take a breath here. Lean forward to plank. Go easy. Come to right hand side plank. Keep your right knee, the bottom leg slightly bent, left palm behind the head. Breathe in, breathe out, knee to elbow. Inhale, exhale, three more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, go easy, exhale. Last round, inhale, hold it for five, four. Hip up, three, two, one. Release. Keep your feet in front of each other because this gives you a better opening of your chest. Inhale, open the chest. Turn the chest to face the ceiling. 
left arm going back breathe for five turn four look up three two one come back to downward facing dog hold down dog stretch the spine and down dog take few breaths lean forward to plank coming to left hand side plank the bottom leg you keep it slightly bent right palm behind the head inhale exhale knee to elbow inhale chest open exhale inhale exhale two more inhale exhale last round inhale exhale hold it five don't give up four stay strong three two one exhale feet in front on your next breath in open the chest take the right arm back look up at the ceiling five four three two one exhale release downward facing dog separate your feet wider than the hip toes pointing to the side walk your palms back malasana we rest in malasana palms in namaskara use your upper arm to separate the knees away from each other keep your eyes closed blink open your eyes next we do an arm balance which is called as bala kakasana which is the baby crow pose have a look once from malasana you will stretch the arms forward place the four arms down press the palms now you have two options one you can keep your knee outside or other you will keep your knee on top outside or on top see what works best for you second you will lift the hip up now this knee and your arm is glued you need to keep pressing against each other then once you lean you will lift the hip up lift both the toes off if it is challenging you will do one foot at a time but when you're doing you're not reaching down your head face is off the mat let's do it from malasana do it along with me stretch the arms forward fingers separated grip the mat elbows down knee to your arm lift the hip lean forward lift the toes off head is not reaching the mat hold 8 keep pressing 6 5 engage the core 4 3 2 1 that's it slowly release sit back vajrasana palms on your thighs close your eyes if it didn't happen today it's okay it's all a work in progress gently blink open your eyes lie down on your abdomen Once you lie down on your abdomen keep your feet hip width apart toes pointing back now it's important for you to press the feet firmly into the mat keep your arms in w we have done this variation previously where we lift and take the arms back but today you will take extra care where you will not take the elbows back your elbow will remain in line with the shoulder and you will just lift the arm up elbow shoulder one line elbow wrist one line okay you will take extra care today be aware of what we are doing don't lift the legs press the feet inhale first lift the head and chest now lift the arms from where it is 
turn and look is your elbow in line with the shoulder if not adjust lift it hold eight for me it's hard to talk and stay in the posture but i am doing it so i want all of you to go more deeper six lift the arms up five don't take it back four three two one exhale release palms on top of each other rest your forehead or your cheek just turn the neck look at the screen the next one is called as bek asana now in this you will bend both the legs i will first explain to you your heel will come outside the hip it's not on the hip it will come outside this is the first thing your toes are pointing forward now watch my arm first you will place your palm on top of the feet then you will turn the palm the fingers are facing forward elbow is pointing up so you do this with both and then lift the chest up elbow pointing up your finger this rotation is important okay try it it may if it doesn't happen after trying then let the fingers point back let's do it slowly place the chin or the forehead down bend your knees now hold your feet now take your heel away it's outside the hip push first couple of times keep pulling the feet down now palms on your feet turn the palm so your fingers are facing forward now lift the chest as much as you can keep pushing the feet down elbows to point up knee will slightly lift up which is okay 5 4 lift the chest 3 2 slowly release palms on top rest your cheek relax the body open your eyes so the idea here is to bring the foot closer to the mat we are still all of us are working towards it all we need to do is have patience roll over to any one side come to a seated posture we'll do janu shirsasana stretch both your legs forward bend the right knee right foot is against the left thigh pull the left toes towards you inhale stretch the arms up lengthen the spine bend from the hip joint fold forward on the left leg breathe in here breathe out elbows pointing towards the floor fold forward knee pain back pain keep your left knee bent breathe here after every exhalation see if you can go deeper in your forward fold don't have to reach your foot stay comfortable wherever you are 3 2 1 in stretch both your arms up place the left palm on the right knee right arm in line with the shoulder and look back at your right fingers right arm is straight left elbow is bent chest lifted left toes towards you with every exhale twist 5 4 3 inhale stretch your arms up exhale release change sides stretch the left leg for right leg forward bend the left knee your right leg is in line with the right hip inhale arms extended up exhale bend from the hip fold forward onto the right leg 
bending your elbows if you are able to reach comfortably on the foot fold forward reduce the space between your abdomen and the thigh 3 2 1 inhale stretch your arms up exhale right palm on the left knee left arm in line with the shoulder right elbows bent lift the chest look at your left fingers five pull the right toes towards you four three two one inhale stretch your arms up exhale and release stretch both the legs forward bend your knees arms in line with the shoulders just drop your knees couple of times left to right right to left for three two one come back to center we hold setu bandhasana today keep your feet hip width apart knees hip width apart palms beside your hip inhale lift the hip up bring the chest to your chin not the other way roll the shoulders in interlock your fingers now keep this arm straight and press the arm into the mat and see if you can lift the hip up walk your feet one step back lift the heel up stay here keep the glutes engaged don't flare your abdomen take the abdomen in eight seven six see if you can lift the hip a bit more four three two and one exhale and release we take a spinal twist stretch the arms in line with the shoulders keep your feet as wide as the mat breathe in breathe out both the knees to the right head to the left eyes closed change sides inhale center exhale knees to the left head to the right don't lift the shoulders up inhale center stretch both your legs on the mat settle down for shavasana any adjustments do it right away stay still bring your chin slightly towards the chest lengthen the back of your neck experience the present state of your mind Feel your breath. Take three deep breaths, expanding and contracting the chest.
end of three move your toes fingers head left to right right to left legs together arms stretched over your head interlock your fingers give your body a nice long wake up stretch stretch the body release your arms bend your knees roll over to your right side stay there for couple of breaths with closed eyes come up to a comfortable seated posture keeping your back straight palms at your heart center express gratitude to your body and your breath let us end by chanting one om and three shantis inhale om shanti 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 hi rub your palms make it warm place them on your eyes take your palms away with a few blinks look into your palms that brings us to the end of today's hatha yoga session do let me know how you felt practicing with me on our facebook community stronger together with cult fit home until i see you in the next session keep practicing until then it's me shweta saying namaste for more such workout videos download the cult fit app now also don't forget to subscribe to our youtube channel we are cult